Right, folks, next up we've got Phil Armstrong, who is a, a board member of the MSS and is going to be talking about how he's been trying to get dates from anti-vaxxers. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah. Um, so Consensually I, with his wife as well. Well, yes. Um, so, yeah, um, like I said, I, I've been uh, looking at uh, Facebook, a few Facebook groups I've joined. Um, basically, I've heard a few people ask about the name of the um, talk. It doesn't make sense. It's only because I wanted to make a really, really bad pun as the title, so apologies for that. Um, so I'm going to split this into a couple of... I'm going to hold this, actually. I'm going to split this into a couple of different um, topics. So the first one is uh, men seeking women. So this is just sort of a few of the examples, typical examples of the kind of um, content that you would post on these groups. Uh, so they tend to be fairly low effort. So this guy has got just a happy birthday Facebook image thing. Um, it says where he's from, looking for a decent female human being that's smart and funny. Nothing about themselves, no pictures, nothing else. Um, the next one again, also fairly low effort. Um, and also confrontational, very happy being single, changed my mind. Um, no, no, real, no real reason to want to there. Um, but... Then you get the sort of the more the more creepy ones. Uh, so this is a long one. I don't have time to uh, read it all, but this is a 34-year-old man looking for someone between 19 and 26 who's lightly employed or unemployed, um, because employment is bad for women's health, except childcare and lifeguard. Uh, I'd not heard lifeguarding before as a particularly gendered role. Maybe he's thinking of just Pamela Anderson. I don't know. Um, but yeah, and, and also this guy wants uh, no social media footprint or social media apps, so surprisingly didn't get much uptake on, on his request. Um, the next uh, topic is um, women seeking men. Um, and I'm going to, so, sorry, do the very male uh, thing and only really talk about the men in here because a lot of the women were just like really normal people asking for normal things. And it was more the replies of, of what um, that were interesting um, so they tended to get a lot of very confrontational replies. Um, so don't use the peace symbol. This was a, off a picture a lady had put on, and she she done the peace symbol. It's a, it's a Masonic. Um, putting uh, this this lady was five foot one, um, but got told to put four foot thirteen because it makes us unwanted five foot seven blokes seem a bit taller. I checked five foot one and. Five foot seven are both two inches shorter than the average height of men and women in this country. So they were in the same boat really there. Um, and again, just a lot of shaming of people. Um, so yeah, you're 38. Um, you know, what's the point in trying? Uh, 38, never be married. A bit of a red flag there. Um, but most of what they actually talk about isn't, isn't trying to get dates. Um, a lot of what they talk about... Hang on, I've lost my notes. Uh, is just sort of typical Facebook stuff, sharing uh, memes. Um, so I'm going to talk about a few of them. So this was a two-part meme. Uh, fellas, what makes a woman instantly unattractive? And you can sort of guess the other half we'll get to. Um, so there tends to be very... Um, it was mostly male replies. Um, obviously, any sort of dyed hair is a, is a terrible thing. Um, feminism, just in general, is a massive turn-off, apparently. Um, and then just, you know, obviously full of transphobia as well. And also um, talking about gendered behaviour as well, which sort of struck me as a bit contradictory. Um, more stuff they talk about, um, prioritising their kids over potential uh, partners. Um, and then not um, prioritising their kids over any potential partners, also a problem. Um, having low self-awareness is also a, a turn-off for anti-vaxxers. Um, tattoos is a big one. They're being brainwashed into the job, obviously. That's, that goes without saying. Um, and I've got this last one because it was just so interesting. No one really liked it, but just expecting anything at all <laughs> is just, you know, it's just too much, too much effort, really. Um, so on the, on the contrary, what is it that anti-vax uh, ladies don't like about men? Again, it's just sort of really normal, boring stuff. Uh, drinking, smoking, uh, belittling their stance on religion or politics, um, not try trying to change people, you know, lack of basic manners, uh, no ambitions, violence, smells and, and lying. Um, all really sort of, you know, shouldn't really need saying. Yeah. 
Um, and obviously lots of uh, transphobia, I've sort of blurred out what that is, but you can sort of take a guess at what sort of stuff that they might, they might think there. Um, and then obviously every, underneath every meme, meme there's a lot of uh, people complaining. Um, obviously, you know, this person has a very low, low uh, opinion um, for someone trying to find a partner. Um, and just lots of composers. Oh, sorry, this is the one is a, is was a uh, meme of uh, she's strong but more fragile than you think. Love her hard, love her tenderly. Again, you what you tend to find on any of these memes that are aimed at um, sort of from a, from a, a woman's perspective is the comments are very um, aggressive and and well, why don't you think of the men in this situation? So um, you know, this one is oh yes, you, she'll complain if. If, um, if you do this, she'll still find reasons to complain. Um, I did all these things, then she still had an affair. Um, and obviously, you know, just make sandwiches. That's a fairly common response. Um, this one, it was just, um, you know, fairly standard, I'd hope, nowadays comment. Um, marrying a woman doesn't mean she's your property. The comments, well, there's no point in marriage these days, really, is there? Um, and I'm way behind in my notes, sorry. Um, obviously, they just talk about um, conspiracies a lot. So does anyone believe they're going to win this war? Um, yes, generally people do. Um, and the first um, sort of call for violence that we'll get back to if I don't run out of time. Um, and this one, I love this one because I've never heard, if anyone's heard of this conspiracy theory before, talk to me. But um, apparently all lawyers in America are licensed through France. Uh, federal judges are licensed through Fran France, as is the FBI. Um, and then just like, it doesn't matter how crazy a conspiracy theory it is, someone is always there to credulously um, agree with them and, and take it up and fit it into their, into their board of uh, things. Um, and so now we, we get on to the, the last section, and it's something Claire's just talked about, is, is the calls for violence. Um, so constant various memes and um, comments talking about um, why this is going to happen again, because we didn't stop them properly last time. Um, and then this one is another sort of meme about um, men and women. I've put this here just because of where the links goes. So obviously it's sort of from a woman's perspective, so they must be a narcissist. Um, and they, you know, just go off and do whatever they want, and then it's the man's fault. Um, but this is the last one because I wanted to talk about sort of the different places that they go off and uh, link to. Uh, so this guy here has linked to this um, Facebook group called Accountability and Women, a Venn diagram depicting two non-converging circles. So obviously I joined this group. Um, <laughs> when you try and join it, you get told um, this has been, uh, they violated uh, the Facebook standards before. Uh, do you want to join anyway? So I said yes. And it goes through to the, the questions that they ask when you start trying to join. Um, will you report comments or anything you see here? Um, I, I said no. Um, I assume if I said yes, I wouldn't be let in. Um, the other group I saw a lot of uh, mentions to were, were March for Children. Um, this was the One Million March for Children. This took place uh, two days ago. Um, as of whatever day I had to submit these slides, they had 5,000 members. Um, not quite the million. I did check yesterday, they are up to 21,000, but um, that was after the, um, after the event and their event was retweeted by Elon Musk, so I don't know how much of an effect that had on, on the members of the Facebook group. Um, and that's, that's me. Brilliant, thanks very much, Phil. Uh, we have some, a couple of questions here. Um, first one from Anonymous. So, are anti-vaxxer dating habits actually different to any other group? Um, I, I, I don't know. Um, I have not dated for about 18 years. Um, so, I, I don't have a perspective on that. Um, but, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure there will be plenty of, of women and poor people in general who've used dating websites that might say, actually, that's a fairly typical uh, experience. Um, I'm not too sure. <laughs> uh, from Igor... Is the crowd there on bad average, or did he just have to comb through normal feed to find the worst? Um, so, I mean, it is, it, is, it is curated a little bit. Obviously, what everyone wants at QED is um, just anecdotal Facebook-sourced um, data. Um, but, 
I mean, certainly for the for the for the for what for the meme that was like, um, fellas, what's found in the chat? I just sort of sorted by the most liked and went through the list that way, um, and they attended. I just sort of put them in that order and grouped them together. Adam would like to know how many people actually turned up for this million person march. Um, I don't know. Actually, I've I've looked at the. Um, Elon Musk's retweet, and it was a video that he, he tweeted on Wednesday, and there was, it looked fairly busy, I don't know, but it was just like, you know, a street corner, it could have just been them, it could have been loads, um, but, I mean, there was definitely counter-processes there as well, I've not looked too much into it. Anonymous asks a curious question, what else are the French up to? <laughs> well, I mean, it, it's a bit suspicious. We, we've always had our suspicions as the English, so maybe we were onto something. Um, uh, an another anonymous question. Did you see men calling each other out at any point? Uh, no, not at all. Is it a surprise? <laughs> uh, another anonymous question. How much discussion was, was there about anti-vax topics? Um, so there was there was quite a lot. There's a lot of sort of, like I said, a lot of it was just memes being shared backwards and forwards with different people. Um, there wasn't really a lot of um, like discussion because people just generally agreed with with the memes themselves and didn't really challenge anything or or push back on anything. And the last question from Eagle, of course, and it's it's something I think we all want to know. Did you find the one? Um, I, I'm I'm still looking. You know, my my, uh, my happy birthday pitch had never really got any traction. <laughs> Brilliant! Thanks very much, Phil.